Well, you know what they say, a gator away keeps the doctor away. Don't mind that really specific and obvious warning sign. I'm sure that's just for rookies. Anyway, we've customized our entire loadout with gator skin, so why would they hurt us? If what all these wild hogs are doing right now was any sign, maybe I should be- What the- Are you serious? Oh my god. <laughs> Forget the jokes. A max- Wait, level 7 gator just ran us over. Hang on. Uh, <laughs> it's gonna try to get to the water. If we can cut this off, we can get it with the 44. Why is he going that way? I literally didn't even know that was there. Okay, I think this is gonna be our chance. Oh, I think we got it. I really hope that was low enough. I see vital blood. What are we gonna do for this video? <laughs> you are kidding me. That was actually so dumb. And that's also the same thing that happened the last time that we got a piebald gold. We're claiming this and tacking this before anything else happens. 422. We got him barely through the top of the lungs. We had no breath. That second shot I knew was bad and I actually was hoping we missed him. Like, what the heck? The last time that we killed a gold piebald gator, it was like the second or third kill. Literally didn't even get to do my <laughs> joking intro. <laughs> and we have a gold rare, so... I mean, I guess we'll keep on hunting them. You never know what else we might find, but... That was not what I thought was gonna happen. Like, my arms right now actually feel dead. The shock that went through my body when I saw that piebald gator running off, like, I had his track. I had picked up a max weight track, was just trying to do whatever meme intro thing was going on there, and then he literally runs us over. Somehow, like, I guess came from behind us? Or maybe on the corner of the screen and I didn't see him? That was just <laughs> so unbelievably shocking. So what I think we'll do is we'll at least check some of the other gator spots, see if we find anything else. And then we might as well kind of turn it more to a Mississippi hunt generally because we just got exactly what we wanted, but you never know what might be out there and we've had hunts before with a couple of trophies, so we'll certainly still try to get some more. Ended up with stomach, right lung, and liver with the 44 there. And man, I mean, could we have made that same shot on the piebald with the 300 AR? Most certainly. But having the 44 just, it's... It's got that insane penetration, the confidence to go for that shot. Who knows what happens? Sometimes multiplayer can be weird. If that gator dives in the water and we gotta wait, crashes, disconnects, anything could happen. Just taking him out. I'm so glad we did it that way and had that gun. Gonna be weird to like shoot normal gators now. See if we can maybe land a neck shot here. Got one of those wild hogs still running around. Didn't get that one. So I guess lungs will have to work? Did we even get a lung shot? We did. Kinda took that a lot better than I thought he would. But the nice thing is, we no longer have to rely on what felt like just a constant flow of level six rares for one to finally end up making gold. Shot just under the neck there. Can kinda see how we ended up doing that and then got the right lung on the follow-up shot. Literally last Friday on stream, we came here to Mississippi in single player had yet another piebald end up as a silver. But finally, after countless rares in between our last level seven piebald and this one, we get it done. And it's like, <laughs> we're 13 minutes into this recording. I was gonna try to find like one more decent gator. Cause honestly, at this point, maybe that guy there, it just feels kind of silly can to continue hunting them. And I'm thinking we'll just kind of turn this into a Mississippi hunt generally and see what we can find out there not in the swamps and stuff. But if this one attacks or maybe runs by us, we can try to get him and then we'll see if we can get one of those white tail. Well, that'll work. Got an aggressive one. This is what was supposed to happen in the intro, by the way. Just uh, happened to be a piebald and things went into absolute panic mode. So 428 for that guy. Did we spook the white tail? think we did. So that's all good, but we're actually just going to jump down into the southeast and start to run around, you know, not near water like the sign said. So maybe making up for the white tail that got away earlier, pretty decent level two there. Honestly, if he stops like that again, 
we could probably punch through with the 44. You gotta lead him by a lot. Oh. <laughs> I don't know where we hit that. But it ends the drop kill? I can't even imagine, like, unless it was spine or something. That'll be interesting. Vital blood, so definitely wasn't just, like, straight spinal cord? Oh, it was just in that perfect spot. Double lung, liver, and stomach? 220 score. And we will definitely take that. It's gonna be kind of interesting to be able to roam around the map and not have to worry specifically about always being in gator territory. I really like it down here in the southeast, and there's no gators down here, so we kind of never go here. That's not a bad size eastern. See if we can get a quick shot off before he takes off. This has definitely been a kind of slower style hunt going through this part of the map. Not nearly as much going on as gators constantly running after us and all that kind of stuff, but with that opportunity, might as well take him out. Oh, he's still got other ones flying over. I didn't bring a shotgun today. For obvious reasons, didn't really expect the need to use one. But as for this guy, wow, you can really see the shimmering on the feathers here. That is about as good as I've seen it on the Easterns. That's a 4.42, so not bad. Got the lung shot in there. Tis the season, I suppose, for turkey hunting, so I might have to do a shotgun turkey hunt eventually, but for now, just plinking him with the 22. Oh, what the? Okay. Level 3 Eastern. A little more interesting. We hit him the first time? Unsure if that second shot hit, but he definitely kind of dipped his wings. That is pretty darn cool. That's only the second or third we've ever found. And I was afraid to hit him again. Like, he clearly isn't hit well. But I'm not sure if that second shot landed. Obviously, plenty to bring him down. All of a sudden, this is turning into a pretty good hunt. Now, I really don't remember the score. But I know we got a decent one on one of our many excursions out here after a gold rare gator. So, maybe potential to even top that. Good looking one. 4.64, barely made it actually. So these can troll now, as can all turkeys. Probably our smallest of the level threes. Hit them like, in effectively the fingers on the wings. <laughs> Not our best shot, but that explains why it took some time for him to go down. We'll still tax it even for like the second lodge, because again, we just don't have a lot of these. The first diamond, or maybe even first couple diamonds were just level twos that barely made it. And of course, with the score increase now, you gotta get a 4.62 instead of a 4.60. Most level twos can't even get there now. Well, I guess all good things must come to an end. Unfortunately, that crash boots us out of that server and there are zero Mississippi Acres multiplayer servers open. So we're back in single player. Though the last time this happened, I think we killed a diamond gator and a diamond teal, like immediately upon going to single player. So. I figured it was kind of late in the day in multiplayer, we'll try to make it the same time. And it's Grey Fox string time now, so just gonna run around and see what's on our map for that. But we got ourselves a little gold 5.39 level 6, double lunged him at 152. Not too bad, didn't really think we'd be chasing foxes today. You know, I'm kind of getting the impression that we've maybe shot a bunch of our male Grey Fox, but left a bunch of the females alive. They're a species like many others in Call of the Wild that spawn in pairs, and it seems you gotta kill both of the pair to get the respawns. Now, kinda spooked off that other one because that level 7 is a little more intriguing, and we'll see if we can get the male too, but boy, I can't even see what's going on. That actually went really well, I didn't think we'd get him. <laughs> and I honestly think on that note, we're probably going to go ahead and jump back to the Trophy Lodge. This video feels like it's been all over the place from the very start, and I definitely want to go and see what it looks like to have that wall in the Trophy Lodge complete with two gold piebald gators. It's been a long time coming, but that is pretty cool to finally have two piebald gold gators up on the wall, and they're completely different patterns, which is just the variety I ultimately wanted. Even the eye color is different. Had no idea any of the gator's eyes were different until literally right now, but I checked on it when I came in here. We shot this guy, June of 2022. The map came out late 2021, and all the way here in April of 24, we finally get the matching one on the other side. And here in kind of early 2024, these checklist trophies, whether it's the piebald gold gator number two, 
the diamond quail, the two great ones. We're finally getting some of those off the list and just completing this lodge that's been in the works since 2020. So I think on that note, that is going to do it for this video. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.